it feels odd to say this, but in fact, I'm going to have to get this because I've been calling you Mayor Oscar Goodman uh, since I lived in Las Vegas, but head of the host committee for the LVCVA, right. Oscar Goodman. Your jobs just keep getting more and more this fun. Is, look, this is the greatest job in the history of the world. I have two beautiful showgirls by my side. I still have my wonderful Bombay Sapphire Martini. I've got Erica from my office who is here uh, getting a, a, a lunch uh, for all of us, uh, as well she should. So it's a great life. Well, it's funny because Big Mex, who's the cameraman, and myself, we were saying, we we're saying you do have, you've got what every guy you think would be to aspire to. I mean, pan around here, Isaac. I got the perfect life. I mean, uh, I uh, I wake up uh, with uh, the beautiful mayor. Uh, people have asked me uh, whether I miss being the mayor, and I said no. It's better sleeping with her. <laughs> but um, uh, we have a great uh, home life, great kids. Uh, the city has been so good to us. We love Las Vegas. The events that we have here are second to none, and I'm able to go around uh, happy as a lark with two beautiful ladies by my side with my favorite drink and meet friends like you and just have a good time. It gets no better than this. You know, I thought it was interesting during the press conference what you were saying and what Kurt was saying, too, in that the growth of these these huge events, the Electric Daisy Carnival, the, the NASCAR, how it's grown, and all the things that we have here in Las Vegas. And a lot of that happened really in the last 15, 20 years. Well, well most of it did. Uh, now, uh, NASCAR started uh, basically in 1998. I was elected in 1999, but I was involved with the first uh, Mayor's Cup uh, uh, for the pole position. And I was just sharing a story with uh, some folks. Uh, I had the privilege of uh, giving the, uh, uh, the award to Sam Schmidt. Sam uh, uh, is a, a, a great guy. He's a Las Vegan. And um, uh, unfortunately, right after that, he had a horrific accident. And uh, now he's still involved with the, the sport. But uh, I would have never had the privilege of meeting somebody who was as courageous as he is had I not been the, uh, the mayor at the time. And then we have all these other events, which are really um, uh, second to none. We have the basketball tournaments coming in now. R Rugby 7 is uh, going to be an Olympic sport. Uh, we've got uh, the Mako Bowl. I mean, one thing after another. Uh, I, um, uh, I, I tell people what happens in Las Vegas on a weekly basis. Any one of these events, any city in the world would be happy to have it. Uh, you know, once a year, just that event itself. Every week here we have event after event after event which just differentiates Las Vegas from any place else. Well, that's the great thing about it. You'd think there'd be a downtime, but being in sports, sports radio, there's never a downtime. No downtime. Yeah, you've got a great job, too, uh, with ESPN, uh, with all, well, it is. Oh, well, I have to travel with this guy rather than these ladies. Well, it's, it, now that you pointed out that your job really stinks. <laughs> and final question. It's good to have somebody who fights for Las Vegas, uh, and you've always done that, and who, who's out there on the horizon? Anybody picking on Las Vegas that we need to be ready to fight with? No, they're scared to pick on us now. They they got a tough mayor. She's tougher than I am. She'll kick them right in the rear end and boot them out of town if she has to. I know her, and I believe that. Right, that's the truth. It's Thanks good seeing you.